Okay, uh, in this video we will finish the tutorial and we will continue with the, with the series of videos um, and in this one, um, before implementing the in code, uh, I'm going to talk about how I'm going to approach uh, this, uh, this problem of having a, a group chat. And in the Swift, uh, we will have these three entities um, each of each of each each of one will have its own ID, and for example, user will will have uh, a username. The room uh, will have the room's name, uh, and every message will will have a user ID and user name about who is sending this message. Also, this message uh, where it belongs, it will have the room ID and also the text itself. We could um, uh, have many other fields like date uh, and other, other fields that could need, but uh, for this tutorial I'm, I'm leaving it uh, simple. Um, uh, about the database structure, uh, we will have uh, this, uh, <clears throat> this kind of uh, a structure. For example, for users, we will have uh, a branch of users, and every user will ha will start with uh, its um, with the, their user ID, <coughs> and inside the user ID, we'll have the ID itself and the name of the user. And the, for rooms, uh, we will store in this way, uh, like. Uh, the same way like we did with users, we have rooms, uh, then we will have a room ID and, and uh, the, uh, inside the, the name of the room. And for message, um, <clears throat> it's, a, a little, it's a little bit uh, different from the other structures because in this case, uh, every message belongs to a room ID. So that's why I have a, uh, First, I have the room ID, and then I will have the list of message that belongs to this room. And um, we'll, I'm going to start creating the message ID, and inside there, I, I will store the other information, like uh, like like I sh I show you in the Swift model, the room ID, sender user ID, sender username, and the text itself. And, and also, um, when, when, we, are, when we, we were working on the UI, we need to uh, connect with uh, Firebase. We need to, uh, for example, create a user, create a room, get all rooms, create a message, and finally get all the message by, uh, filtered by room ID. All this uh, code is already written uh, I have already written, um, and I'm gonna I'm going to paste into into our tutorial in order to have it uh, uh, in order to not have a, a very long video. So um, let's let's continue. Okay. Um, first, uh, as I told you, I'm gonna to I'm, I'm gonna to create the the model which are first we have the user then we have the mm, room oh sorry this is the name of the file uh, the, the type of the file room then I'll have uh, message. So in here um, I'm going to paste some code that I already have but I will explain uh, about this code. So in here we are creating a struct that, that is called user and we are uh, storing, uh, we will have these properties ID, username. And 
we are also adding a method create user that will allow us to um, to connect to um, Firebase and and actually create the user in, in, inside Firebase. And after everything is okay, it will return an error, or or uh, otherwise will return a, a new user created. So let's continue with the room. And in room, also we have a structure called room, and we are storing the ID of the room and the name. And for this. Uh, <clears throat> for this uh, model, we will have this, uh, these two static methods, which are create room. Uh, it, it will allow us to create a room. Uh, and also, we will have uh, get all rooms. Uh, it will return all the rooms that uh, we will show you on the, the table view. And finally, we will have the message. And in here, We will have this code, and we are storing uh, the ID, the sender user ID, sender user name, room ID, and text. And here we have also the create message, in which we will pass all the information, and it will create uh, into Firebase. And if everything is okay, it will return a new message created or or an error. Uh, also, we have this method. And I, I will explain to you uh, uh, when we were using this method. Uh, but this is this is the important one: get messages because when we when we were in the chat room, we need to um, get all the messages that were sent uh, in that in that uh, room. So we pass the room ID, and and, and we will connect to um, Firebase and messages, and we will filter all the messages uh, by room ID, and we will send these messages. So so now that we have our, our model and also the the methods that we will need to to uh, to work with Firebase. So let's continue with completing our, our uh, UI. So I will start with this screen, that is the create user view controller. So I'm going, I'm, I'm, I will go to the file, uh, to, 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 to create user view controller. Uh, but first I will need to connect the outlets for these two components the method and the text text field. So I will uh, open the assistant editor. I will uh, have more space here. And I will create my outlet. I will drag down here and I will call it username text field. And here I will have the action mm, create user button touch. Okay. So now that we have this uh, the outlets, I will uh, have uh, the code. Um, so. When the user can touch this button, it will internally we need to grab this username and and use our uh, our methods to uh, to work with with Firebase. So first, let's let's uh, have let's grab this the username. I will have this variable and I will grab from text field and then I will use my method user create which oops, 
we will pass the username and in here we can have an error or a new user okay if error is equal a new that means that we have a new user so I'm going to perform uh, a segue I mean I will uh, I will go to this other to the rooms screen but I need to pass this new user to this room so for that uh, I will use uh, this segue that I have already created but I need the ID it's called show rooms um, uh, we have perform segue you know I'll pass the name of the segue and in the sender we will pass the new user um, so in order to receive this ver this value new user inside rooms we need to have um, a variable to receive it so I will create current user as an optional so now when we we were when we were passing this value we will need to uh, use that that variable that we have created but um, before presenting this screen we need to before presenting the rooms screen uh, we need to pass this value so for that purpose we can use prepare for segue and in here I can have the reference to this to this new new screen that is going to be presented um, and in here I will have the destination and I will I need to pass to the type of uh, rooms view controller so here rooms view controller and in here I can access to my new variable that I have created current user and I, I will pass uh, the sender but I need to cast to user so with that we okay we we will we we are we are um, we have already passed this this value user so when we were here we we will have this uh, current user and in here uh, we need to list all the rooms that uh, we have on the on Firebase so for that I'm I'm going to use uh, a method that we we have we have from the room room structure that I, I show you uh, uh, at the beginning of this video um, but before going that before doing that uh, let's connect this new room button uh, the action because uh, we will need later um, this action new room button touch Okay, and in here uh, we will use a method uh, that is called view will appear. And in here I'm going to refer to my structure and use this method that I already have that it will return me all the rooms that I are in the in Firebase uh, I'm going to call um, rooms font and I will need a vari variable here rooms which uh, it's gonna be an array of rooms and I will store this rooms found into the rooms variable 
so that we can present these rooms in, into the, the screen. Uh, I'm going to give a, an ID to this uh, table view cell uh, when, when I, I will need it. I will need it when I, uh, I, when I am presenting the rooms. So I will call um, room cell ID. And I'm going to create a variable here. Room cell ID. I'll call it room cell ID. Okay. Now I will present these rooms into the screen. So I'm going to create the log, the code for that. And in here, first I'm going to use the numbers of rows numbers of rows. In this case it's gonna be the the count of the rooms that we could have here. And then we will present the, the information to the screen. So for that I'm going to create this variable to view the queue reusable uh, the identifier is the name that we uh, we put it before, and here I'm going to pass this value. But and return. But I'm I will configure this cell, and for that I need to. Uh, get the current room that is, is going to be accessed and here I'm going to show to show uh, the room's name okay um, also when when we have when we um, when we we will see the the rooms and, and if we touch one of the rooms it, it, it will uh, present this new screen, the chat, the chat room. So for that, I, I need to implement this uh, this method delegate, which is the select that is gonna be uh, called when when a user taps one one of the rooms. So in this case, I'm going to. Uh, grabs which room was touch and then do a, a, a perform segue and in this case I need to pass the room and also the name of the segue that we are going to use and <clears throat> in this case uh, the segue that we are interested in is it is this one because it will need to show the the chat rooms, so I I need to know the the name of the segue. So in this case, it's show, show chat. Okay, what else? And then we need to pass uh, the room uh, the room structure to our chats chat our chat group. Um, our, our group chat screen. Um, so for that, um, I need to access to so its view, view controller and create a variable here. I'm going to call it current room. It's going to be a room optional. And here I'll, I'll get back to the rooms view controller. And we need to pass this. This, var this value and before presenting the screen. So like in the last example, we will use the prepare for, for this purpose. And in here, I need to access to the screen that's gonna be presented. And it's called chat view controller. Well, uh, this is the, the, the name of my variable. But actually, when I access to this view controller, is thanks to this uh, 
to this property and I will cast to chat view controller and in here chat view controller I can access to my current room that I already created okay and in sender we have we have uh, uh, this value that we, we passed but uh, I need to cast to its uh, correct uh, type which is room okay so we have already configured our table view and there is one more thing that we need to do and it is the new room when the user cl clicks on the new room uh, the this screen uh, um, needs to be presented so for that we need to uh, call a perform segue method with this name of the segue so let's do, do let's do that this is the the method that is actually this is the action that is associated to this uh, button so I will put here perform segue and in here I'll need to pass this value show create rule and we don't we don't need any information uh, for this screen so Mm, that's why I'm not. Uh, I, I won't. I won't pass any information. I just want. I just want to pres Just only want to present to this. Uh, this screen. So in in this screen, uh, I will need to uh, first connect this outlet. So I will connect this text field, and it's called mm, new. Room name text field and in this method I'll call create room button touch and is an action. Okay. And in here, like in the other form, when we were creating a user, here we need to grab the the value of that is having the this text field and in this case is room name new room name text and I'm going to use a method that I already have that is create room and I will order and I'll pass the room name The variable error if error is nil uh, what I'm going to do is um, uh, dismiss or pop this view controller initial view controller pop view controller animated true okay now <clears throat> when the user press this button and when it goes to this method uh, this uh, this method returns a value and we are using that's why I'm gonna put in this way and the room will be created and when when and after that we need to uh, dismiss this view this screen and return to our rooms and, and we will see the new room created here and after that if the user clicks uh, sorry taps on that uh, on that room created uh, the, the chat uh, screen will be presented and in here uh, now we need to uh, configure it um, so let's work in this screen now uh, first first of all um, we are gonna use a library <coughs> that will allow us to already have all the the work for having a, a, a screen of list of messages, a, a text box, a text field with the button sent. So uh, we will use for this uh, for this screen the JSQ message view controller. So. I'm going to go to its GitHub uh, repository and 
I will use, I will list this dependency in my pod file and, and then install. So I will go to my pod file and I will list it here. I will get back to my terminal and I will run this command called install. And we can see that this uh, library is being it's being installed. It's already done. Uh, and now uh, we will configure our view controller. So now here I'm going to Im import the the library which is called JSQ messages view controller. I'm going to build in order to see if uh, we have any problem or something like that. And well, it it is okay. It has built without any problems. So now, and instead of um, inheriting from UIB controller, we will inherit from uh, a class that that comes with this library, which is JSQ message view controller. And then here uh, we will we will need also who is uh, who is the user that is in this chat, right? Because the he will be the, the one who is sending the messages. And for this case, we need to have a user, but um, uh, I didn't pass this value from here, so I will, I will do it. So here, from rooms screen, I need to pass this to access uh, to this current user from the chat and pass my current user that I already have in, in here and in the rooms, right? So I'm passing this value. Now, what else? Um, now we need to have all all the messages uh, um, from Firebase to present here, right? Uh, and I, I will have a variable here called messages to store all the, the messages that I will have from, from Firebase. And also I will use view will appear, this method that comes from view controller. And I will use from my structure that I'll have, I'll, I'll, I'll write, I, I already have this method which is get messages which uh, it will provide me all the message for this for this room for this current room uh, all I need is to pass here current room and pass the ID and in here I will have messages from and I need to uh, grab here message phone. Okay. Now I will uh, configure uh, this li this library. So the first thing thing to uh, to do is um, um, tell me. Telling to this library uh, who is the the user that is gonna send the message. So for that, it comes two variables: sender ID and the sender ID. Uh, we will configure with our current user. And also, we have the sender display name. Also, we will use from our model that we have this information, which is a uh, username. 
Okay, now um, well, um, I'm going to uh, now uh, continue um, configure the the library. So I'm going to create a section for this for having that code. I have to make some space here. And in here I will um, first have the number of items uh, in section. In this case it's gonna be the message count. Then I will press create the the message on the screen that is message data for item. And here first I will access to the message that, that I have in my model and then I will create the cell itself and, and I will use this one and in here I'll pass a message Save the user ID message display. I don't know why it's not. Turn this information. Okay. What else? There are mm, some methods that that J JSQ message view controller requires that I need to implement. Uh, these are mm, very basic uh, implementation. I, I mean, I am not uh, uh, using all the the configuration that comes because the, this tutorial is very simple so I will copy uh, this information like height uh, it will be 15 by default I, I won't have any avatar because that's why it's nil what else um, okay the, this this method attribute um, attribute it text for message bubble at top label uh, and here again I will and here I will show uh, at the top of the, the message I will um, uh, show the username so that's why I implement it I'm not copying oh, message username um, I will ha have from sender username and this is the value we will oh, sorry I have some inconvenience okay um, and here I'm going to return this new attribute String and here string we pass this value okay uh, what else so now uh, we need to uh, also work on the when the user press the send button inside the, the chat, we need to create the message. And for uh, the action that, it, that, that is being triggered when the, the send button is, is pressed by the user, uh, it will be called this method, which is called the press send. And in here, 
I need to create uh, the message which is is my structure that I already created I'm going to order in order to read better and in here the ID mm, um, it's gonna be nil because we we'll, we don't have yet the the ID. The ID is gonna be created by Firebase, so that's why I'm passing nil. But we will have after Firebase create this <coughs> this message, we will have its ID. Uh, the uh, the sender user ID it's gonna be the sender ID that is passed passed by this method. Also. The sender display name, the room ID we are already have that is in our variable current room, and the text. Uh, this value is passed by the UI, so we have it here. So now that we have created our message, um, now we need to use. Our structure there is a method that's called create create message that creates in Firebase. So I will order and here I will pass the room selected current room ID. Also here I will pass the sender ID. The username, the text, and here Firebase will return as a possible error or if everything went okay, a new message, right? New message. Okay, but in this case we 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 won't do anything besides informing to to the UI that we already sent the database but before I forgot to attempt to our to our list of messages because we are sending a message and we need to add it to to our current of message Okay, now that we have com configured this part, uh, we need to uh, now test it. Uh, well, let's see, I, I hope uh, I didn't forget anything. Oh yeah, uh, after receiving all the message uh, from Firebase, we need to inform to uh, to our UI that it, it will be it will need uh, to be rendered again so so it will show all the message all the new message that is being uh, that is being brought so uh, for that there is a method that is called finish receiving message so I will include the animation And well, let's see. Let's let's run the project and, and see if, if everything is okay. Okay, I will create <coughs> a new user. Uh, for this, I will show you the the. Firebase database that I already have it here. So let's see if uh, ever after um, creating the user from UI, uh, we will see if it is created in, into Firebase. So let's create the name will be Wilson. I press create user and nothing happens. Uh, Let's see why. 
inputs here, create user view controller. I'm going to refresh just to see if it was created. Okay, it wasn't created. Let's debug. I'm going to press again and I'm going to see if I have the value. Yes, I have the value. Uh, I enter here. And after that, um, okay, there is an error. I don't know what is the error, but let's see. Permission R. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot this. Because we are we aren't using um, authentication with date with uh, Firebase, uh, we need to <coughs> uh, disable this rule that is. This database, it, uh, it is only be accessed by uh, authenticated users. But in this case, we, are, we aren't using authentication, so we are not authenticated. So that's why we need, uh, I will put it like a, a value true, which is going to be accessed by everyone, which is not recommended by Firebase. But for this tutorial, I'll, I will leave it very simple. Um, I will put it true so that now I I can access. Okay, let's create again. Create users. Well, let's see. Yeah, it already created, but there is a problem. I will see. Okay, the user was created. This is the ID auto generated by Firebase and. This is the main. So there was a problem here. Let me see. Okay, I know what is the problem. The problem is that <coughs> I will close this part. The problem is that uh, I am assuming that after create I, after pressing the create user. It will be present. I will access to this uh, to this view, but uh, actually, um, this is the the, the view. Con this is the first view that is that is presented. So um, first, I need to access to the navigation controller and then uh, um, access to the rooms. So I I will fix this problem. Uh, producer. It's in here. Yeah, the destination is not the room to be controller, it's a navigation controller and navigation. I will change the name. And here I will inside the navigation controller there is a property view controller, and I know for sure that the the first value is is, is the um, the create uh, no, the rooms view controller. Okay, let's run the game. And I will unwrap. Okay, let's run the game. Okay, we are presenting again from here. I will create user, create user. And we can see now that uh, uh, we, we are seeing the rooms screen and the user address was created. Now let's create a, a room. I will create a room and I, I will call it, I don't know, general. I press create room. Uh, the room is created. But uh, 
my my screen is not being updated. Let's fix that problem. So I will go to the rooms, and view controller, and here I'm not getting. Let's see why. Um, get rooms. Let me see my example here. I have it in another screen. Um, self rooms, rooms founded. Oh yeah, I forgot to do something, which is uh, after getting all the rooms, I need to update the table view. So for this part, I'm going to update using the main thread table view reload and yeah let's let's run again okay and in here I'm going to create another user <coughs> create user it was created as user Pablo and uh, now I have the general but let's see if, if I create a new a new room like see iOS and now we can see that uh, the new room is created right so if I now if I go to general now I, I can see the the chat screen uh, for example, I can create a value here and we have a problem. Let's see why. Okay, we I forgot to implement this method, message bubble. So let's go there and include that. I already have this this method in another screen, so I will copy and paste but I think it's I think it's important to to mention this method so I will do it manually uh, this is the message that was uh, that mm, that it needs to be implemented so I will create a variable called bubble factory which it will it will render the, the bubbles of the message and the UI. So image factory image factory hmm. bubble. This is the one, and I will grab which message which message is being rendered. Yeah. It's it's message it's when it is this message, and we have to ask if if this if the user that uh, created this message is the one who is locked, or it is uh, it is a message from another users. Because if, if it is the message of the current user of the device, which is the current user ID, if it is, uh, we will render we will render a bubble that is a green color. Because this uh, and it also needs it needs to be rendered to the right side, right? My message to the right side, and other messages, other users' messages to the left side. That's why we need to include this. It is it is required mandatory to to put this method, right? So it is out, outgoing because I I am sending message. It is my my message that I am sending and I will color green and otherwise if if we if um, it is not my message and then it is another message once another message one so in this case I need to call this 
incoming because it is incoming messages, right? And now I will color it blue. And okay, I will unwrap. And let's see. Okay, let's let's run again. Um, I will create another user. Um, new Santiago, create user. I will go to the iOS. Uh, hello, anyone here? So this is my message, right? That's that's why we configure it to the right side and it, it's green. Now, let's. I will um, use now the application from my iPhone. So I will run. I, I, I have my iPhone already connected. I will run on my iPhone. And let's go to this channel and have a, a chat with Santiago. Okay, it's running. Let's wait. Okay, uh, here I'm going to create um, user Diana. I, have, I press create user. I am. I will create. I don't know another channel like. Uh, uh, Android, for example, create rule. I'm going to iOS and I have the, this message. Hello, Santiago. Hi, Santiago. And we can see that uh, the chat is working okay. And we can see. So, for example, if Android channel was created recently so let's see if the uh, if he he can see the from simulator we can see and now we can see the android right so this is this is the, the application uh, a pretty pretty basic there are some some things like um, uh, we need to uh, improve like uh, mm, uh, avoiding memory leaks uh, and uh, and stop listening because get messages. It's gonna be uh, mm, triggered every time that a new message is being created, right? So that's why we are observing uh, all the time, and we need to stop listening uh, in in a specific time. Like for example, when the chat. When the chat room is is being, uh, for example, here I am listening all the messages all the time with this with this method, right? Uh, if someone writes a message, this method is gonna be called and it's gonna be rendered here. But if I go, if I get back to rooms screen, I I. I shouldn't be listening any message from the Android uh, uh, chat because uh, I already closed. Uh, but in this case, uh, it's gonna be called even for the Android uh, room. So uh, that's why it returns uh, it returns an, an UI int this observe. So that when when we were uh, closing the, the the chat screen, we will need to remove. Uh, we will need to stop listening, right? So that's why I need to store here, for example, listening messages. It's gonna be an UI int zero listening message handle ID. And I'm going to receive that ID here, 
because get message is returning uh, this ID. So when the view disappear, uh, now we can be sure that this screen is being closed and we need to un unlisten to this uh, <clears throat> to uh, to this method, right? So I'm going to use this method, which is a stop listening, uh, in which uh, room ID we are is this current room um, ID that I will unwrap here, and this is the ID that I need to pass. So every time that the the chat disappears, uh, we will we no longer. Uh, we no, lo no longer um, listen to this uh, new message, right? So that's it uh, for this tutorial. I hope that uh, you find it useful. If you need uh, more explanation or I forgot something, please let me know in the, the comments of the, of the video. And if you want uh, a, a specific tutorial that uh, you want me to do, uh, also, please uh, leave comments on the on the video, and, and I'll be reading. And please uh, subscribe if you want to 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 be notified when I will release more tutorial. Thank you.